Documents required to open a bank account. Since the war in Ukraine, clients from Poland, Sweden, Finland and Lithuania are calling me every day. They ask for a Swiss bank account. Swiss banks are attracting record sums of new money since the Ukraine war and COVID. 30% of all private offshore money in the world is, in, is stashed with Swiss banks. The result is that Swiss banks have become more selective in their choice of new clients. That means extensive background checks. They want to know their clients. Banks are reluctant to take risky clients. Not only in Switzerland, but everywhere. The Swiss banking industry is strictly regulated, even overregulated, because of the scandals with black money laundering in the past. The bank will ask hundreds of questions. You must answer all these questions, not only. You must provide impeccable documentation supporting your answers. Don't worry, be happy. That's a good thing. A bank asking questions is a good thing because it's a good bank. Because it's strictly regulated and supervised. If a bank wants your money without asking questions, stand up and run away immediately. Go away. Otherwise, you will lose your money. It's not a bank. It's a fake bank or a scam. Victims of scam artists call me every day. This video will make Swiss bank account opening hassle-free and easy for you. Discover right now the most frequently asked questions of the banks and the best documents required to open a bank account hassle-free. Being prepared with impeccable documents means that your Swiss bank account will be open in one week. Stay with me. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. I'm Enzo Caputo, Swiss banking lawyer. I have worked as a compliance officer with the old UBS group. I was the CEO of the Swiss Association of Asset Managers. Today, I own and run the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the domain SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people like you find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks, make more money and pay less tax. Anti-money laundering KYC in banking. Often Swiss banks have restrictions regarding what type of business they want to be in. There are 284 banks and circa 2500 independent asset managers in Switzerland. Not all banks are the same, they are different. Not all banks are following the same business model, but they are following anti-money laundering KYC in banking. KYC means for knowing your customer because of the high demand for new Swiss bank accounts since the COVID crisis and the, way the war in Ukraine, Swiss banks have become very selective. They want to know their clients according to the KYC rules, to the know your customer rules. Swiss banks have become risk averse. They want to know their clients very well and comply with anti-money laundering KYC in banking. Eligibility for Swiss bank account. Banks have blacklisted some countries, sensitive activities and individuals. The most common criteria they have are the country of your fiscal residence, nationality or nationalities, the amount of money you will invest, the type of transactions, your economic background and the origin of your funds. If you cannot document the origin of funds, for whatever reason, you will be rejected. Or worse, they file a suspicious activity report with the money laundering reporting office in Bern. With me, you don't have such risk because you are protected by the lawyer-client privilege. Frequently asked questions of Swiss banks. That's why banks frequently ask questions such as how did you earn your money? What is the origin, source and history of your money. Where is your money now? In which bank? In which country is your money now? How did you make the first million? What are your plans with your money? What kind of account activity are you looking for? Do you need a Swiss account for in and out transactions? Do you invest your assets in financial products? Do you need investment advice? Will you instruct the bank to manage your money with a discretionary asset management mandate? Do you need your money to make business in Switzerland or abroad? Are your bankable assets tax compliant? Can you disclose your tax identification number? Are you a politically exposed person? Are you a US person? 
Are you involved with sensitive business activities such as mining, commodity trading, adult entertainment, nightclubs, gambling, casino, real estate developments, gaming industry? Are you doing business with country with a high corruption perception index? Are some of your income streams coming from countries that are known for drug production or high level of corruption? My best tip for you, do not mention these kinds of sensitive activities to the bank. Try to give a short and precise answer. If you are giving too much information, this can backfire. Remember, the Swiss private banking business is skyrocketing. Swiss banks are reluctant to onboard risky clients. If you are involved with sensitive activities, do not mention these kind of activities to the bank. Do not lie to the bank. Otherwise, you are running the risk of being reported for suspicious money laundering activities or of being rejected as a client. Do not go alone to the bank. You need professional advice. Let's meet and find a bank being familiar with your business activities. The anti-money laundering laws have become very strict. Let me prepare the bank account application for you. Swiss banks like to work with somebody they trust, somebody like me. If you engage me for account opening, you can be sure that we will deal with senior bankers only. Here is the truth. Junior bankers are often scared of taking any minor risk. They prefer rejecting you. I will tell them exactly what they want to hear and not more. If you like more information just like this, please show it to me. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. How many pages count a Swiss bank account application? The big volume of regulations is the reason why the number of account opening forms is bigger than ever. The forms for a Swiss bank account opening application are composed of 50 to 100 pages. The process looks complicated, right? With my support, consider it mission accomplished. Don't worry, I have opened thousands of accounts. I will guide you step by step through the account opening process. I will prevent you from doing tremendous mistakes. What is the most common mistake with Swiss bank account opening forms? One of the most common mistakes is signing the forms without reading the content. Do not sign the forms without knowing and having understood the content. Not all forms are mandatory. Let me give you an example. I will prevent you from signing and accepting a general pledge agreement. A general pledge agreement gives the bank the authority to liquidate all your assets in case of a margin call. The liquidation will take place at the most inconvenient price. Do not enter in leveraged transactions. Don't do that. Do not accept Lombard loans. That's high risk. Lombard loans can end in a financial disaster because you are speculating with money that you do not own. I saw clients losing all their assets due to a margin call. I will coach you to be prepared for all these questions of the bank. Here is the $1 million question. What are the documents required to open a bank account? As said before, your answers must be supported with documentary evidence. What are the documents required to open a bank account? You need a valid passport for your personal identification. The passport should be valid for another year. The banker will identify you based on the passport and certify your passport copy. Driving licenses and ID cards of non-resident clients are not accepted. So as a non-resident, you need a passport. A legalized passport copy issued by a notary public and super legalized with opposite is also okay. Before introducing you to the bank, I prefer to make a preliminary check with the same database the banks have. Based on the passport copy, the bank will confront your name with a database named WorldCheck. We will do the same. What lists are included in WorldCheck? The WorldCheck database is not limited to the terrorist list, the sanction list and the politically exposed persons. The effective Know Your Customer screening goes far beyond such lists. All Swiss banks have a well-known database called WorldCheck. If you are mentioned in WorldCheck, Swiss bank account opening becomes very difficult if not impossible. However, there is a specific delisting procedure for clients to be removed from WorldCheck. We are specialized for such removals from WorldCheck. If you know, I know the founder and investor of WorldCheck personally, Mr. David Leppen. He invented WorldCheck 22 years ago when he was a student. 
He sold WorldCheck to Swiss banks to identify politically exposed persons. Today, WorldCheck is owned by Thomson Reuters. WorldCheck collects the names of individuals with a negative reputation covering 240 countries and territories. Included are the lists of sanctions, embargoes and terrorist lists. If you are listed in WorldCheck, you have a problem. It does not matter if you are innocent. The fact of being listed is enough. You have no chance of opening a bank account in countries with a regulated banking system. I have clients that are in the uncomfortable situation of being listed in WorldCheck. Believe me, life without a bank account is a nightmare. What is beneficial owner? The beneficial owner is defined as a natural person who ultimately directly or indirectly by interposed persons or entities controls and owns the assets deposited in the bank. It's very important to know his identity for combating money laundering. Let me give you a simpler definition of beneficial owner invented by me. The beneficial owner is the one who yells the loudest when the money disappears. The beneficial owner form is the most important document of the account opening forms. The bank established the identity of the ultimate beneficial owner using the famous Form A. Form A is the most important document of the bank account opening documents. It's the beneficial owner form. Declaring incorrect bank account details and false personal information on Form A is a serious criminal offense. It's a forgery. For forgery, there is a high penalty up to 10 years of imprisonment in Switzerland. Watch out! It's a serious crime. What is an example of a utility bill? You need an original utility bill evidencing your physical presence at your place of residence. In simple terms, you need a proof of address. A utility bill evidencing water consumption, electric energy or gas consumption is perfect. The utility bill must be addressed to you. The address must be visible. If not, it's useless. Please note that the telephone bill is not sufficient. Documenting the source of funds can be tricky. Let's have a look at the source of funds meaning. Documenting the legitimate source of funds is imperative. Such documents should be evidence, should evidence your professional activities, your business and the origin of your funds. If you are employed, you provide the service agreement with the company you are working for. If you are self-employed, you show the internet domain, the balance sheets for the, of the last three years and bank statements. Bank statements are very helpful because you can document where your money is. You can provide the agreements with the most important clients and some invoices. If you have inherited the funds, you can provide the inheritance certificate with the probate documentation. If you sold a commercial building or any other real estate, you could submit the agreements and the extract of the land registry. If the money comes from a divorce, you show the divorce settlement. If you own intellectual property, you show the extract from the registry of the patent office. If you made money with an IPO, you show the contract of the company sold. If you made money with commodity trading, you show delivery and shipping papers and bills of lading. We fight for your money. If you like more specific information on this topic, read my very detailed article on my website, How to Open a Swiss Bank Account 2022. Where can I find my tax identification number? Due to the problems with international tax evasion in the past, Swiss banks want to be 100% sure that the money is tax compliant. The best document to demonstrate tax compliance is showing the last tax return. On the tax return, you will find the TIN number, the international tax number, the international taxpayer number. If your money is not tax compliant, you have no chance of opening a Swiss bank account. Information just like these cannot be found in universities, not in libraries and not in, the, in bibliotheques and even not in the internet. If you like more information just like these, please show it to me. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you like to have your money protected in a Swiss fortress, if you want to achieve peace of mind, if you want, if you want the best in class wealth manager to grow your money step by step, write me an email or pick up the phone and give me a call now. Dial the number below 0041442124404. Let's discuss the best solution for you. Let's discuss how to keep your legally earned money safe with one of the safest banks on earth. 
bring your money out of your country before your country will take the money out of you. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.